So hi, I'm Nono Martinez Alonso, and I'm one of the cluster champions at uh, Mindex Machina Cluster. What we're trying to do here is to take robotic control from the engineers and the complex uh, control to designers and make it some, somehow easier. Some of the things that we've done is uh, interaction for having a robot uh, continue a drawing that a human has, has done. So we were actually running something called SketchRNN and this allows us to give it a few strokes of a drawing on paper and have the neural network generate the continuation to finish that drawing. So what we're doing is having a human draw a stroke, having a machine learning algorithm uh, continue and finish that drawing and then have the robot actually be the one to complete the drawing. Each participant is going to try to put together a human-robot collaboration small project where they inquire how humans and robots can work together. There's a team that is hoping to use body gesturing to affect how the robot is holding a, a, a mold with slip that is going to rotate and solidify so they can craft ceramic objects with it. There is a participant who wants to have the robot play this Jenga game with him and have the robot like pick and place the tower objects and then he can be able to extract them and then the robot can tell him wh whether if that's going to fall apart or not. So we're very excited about um, all the possibilities that are happening. Well, everybody's freaking out <laughs> because it's overwhelming and we just started and there's all these technologies that they need to figure out how they work. But that's hopefully what we're here for. taught the machine to recognize gestures, to apply rotations, to uh, pick up a block, move it in, on top of the tower, and then you, you change the parameters of the design of the tower, and the idea is that all these decisions are gonna be on site. You will decide how much you will turn, and if you don't like it, you keep rotating, you keep designing on site on a model that's basically in front of you. Today, you'll start to see a lot more programs executing, so a lot more robots moving and a lot more robots responding to the kind of real-time input. So the online programming aspect of it, actually having the robots kind of adapt what they're doing in real time to not just program inputs, but actually physical gestures, um, references to the space, object recognition, things like that. We started sculpting with lights. We wanted to work with something that was temporal and we wanted to have a collaboration with the robot. So we started with something simple, which was light, nothing messy, nothing, nothing too crazy. And we got really good success last night where we were able to get it to do a predetermined path going on and on and on. And we had the ability to intervene via this uh, machine learning algorithm that basically recognizes gestures and will be able to trigger a response. So we had it to be able to either increase or decrease the diameter of the light path that it was tracing. Today it was really cool. We decided to take a next step forward and we've been experimenting with uh, slip casts using vacuum formed balloons with media inside. So we usually make these by hand where you put in a balloon kind of like this and you suck out all the air via the pump and you can start to form a little cup shape or some sort of an interesting organic mold and you start to pour in hydrostone and let it rotate around to let it cure. So this, so is, this the is the process we wanted, we wanted to, to produce with the robot. But just like yesterday's experiment, we wanted to do gestures where it recognizes us and we have the ability to take a look at it and say, no, stop. We want you to like open up the angles so that the material starts to slip around the edges more or perhaps a little bit tighter and faster. So that's where we got to today. 